you must be like, what the heck is this video topic? And thank you for tuning in. But the idea came for me, 2 o'clock in the morning, brushing my teeth, and I was like, okay, it's Christmas, I have to think of a video topic. And the first Christmas movie that came into my head is It's a Wonderful Life, and if you don't know what that movie is, it's basically about a guy questioning to kill himself and deciding what would happen if he never was born. And then for some reason my head jumped to Jojo, and then I started thinking of Josuke 4 because really he kind of was an accident and should have never been born in the first place, and I'm like, there we go. And, uh, yeah, today we're going to discuss whether what would have happened if Josuke 4 was born or not born. And the consequences actually do add up, as there's a big domino effect. I suppose it'd been better if I'd never been born at all. What'd you say? I said I wish I'd never been born! Okay, let's start off with the pros of a world without Josuke. And sadly, I have to admit, I came up with more of these than the cons. Nevertheless, the first obvious thing that would occur would be Josuke's mother, well, not being a mom. She would have an easier and free life rather than having the burden of being a single parent. As if the result, Joseph's name is cleared because he either didn't cheat on Suzy Q or, you know, Joseph just decided to use protection instead, which he should have done in the first place. From this one factor alone, so many changes occur. For instance, Jotaro and obviously old Joseph would have never had any business stopping by Morio. Perhaps Jotaro could have used that time to, you know, spend some quality time with his daughter. Also, another major thing to take note of is without Josuke in the picture, a lot of lives are going to be saved. Remember Josuke's grandfather? Well, now you will because he actually would still be alive as Angelo would have no motive to seek any vengeance against a person that doesn't exist. Sagechi wouldn't have been killed either because he never would have hung out with Josuke, which naturally put him in the line of fire. Though honestly, I'm not too sure if I can call this a pro because I'm sure there's a significant number of individuals that were rather happy to see Sagechi die. Only on the internet do people plod together to see an innocent cartoon middle schooler get blown up to smithereens. Damn it, Sagechi. On a better and much fortunate note, Hayato would still have his father because without the pursuit with Josuke and the gang, Kira wouldn't have needed to change his identity. A second result of this is that Hayato isn't going to need therapy or have PTSD. Lastly, the most important positive change, Rohan's house would have not been burned down. No poker game would have existed, thus no fire. Wow, now that you think about it, perhaps everyone is just better off without Josuke. But whoa, hold the phone, nothing in life is what it seems like on face value. There's always more to the story. There are a fair amount of negative consequences that would occur if Josuke was never born. For starters, in the most obvious point being that Kira Yoshikage would still continue his merciless murdering if there was no Josuke to stop him. And without putting an end to Yoshikage Kira's reign of terror, the body count of his victims would only rise, probably to Kira's old age. I mean, considering he seems like a healthy guy. And you have to also understand Kira Yoshikage had to keep a down low and refrain from any murder within a certain time period in part 4, only because of Josuke and the gang really hot on his tail. Within this set time, lives were definitely saved. Also, what about Shizuka? You know, that mysterious baby who turns herself and things around her invisible? Without Joseph needing to be in Morio, she wouldn't have been discovered, and disturbingly enough, probably wouldn't have survived. I mean, please, tell me, do you know any babies that can live on their own for an extended period of time? Even worse, Suzuka is invisible, so it's not like most people would notice, let alone actually help. Please, if you heard a baby crying with no baby in sight, your first conclusion wouldn't be, hey, maybe there's an invisible baby nearby. No, you'd probably get yourself checked in with a therapist. Or maybe you're just on drugs. In addition to such changes, Koichi wouldn't have gained confidence, let alone a stand, without being present with Josuke at the abandoned Nijimura household. Without this event, Koichi would have probably lived an average life, and he would have never traveled to Italy under Jotaro's wing. Well, because no Josuke, no Jotaro. 
I'm truly glad Koichi was able to develop and evolve himself not only with his stand, but his personality. This is why many people, including I, enjoy Koichi as an inspirational character. He's an individual that demonstrates we can all improve ourselves to crack into our untapped potential. Lastly, I believe the largest negative impact, I mean, aside from Kira, is Akiyasu. Within the beginning of part 4, he's not in the best place. He would not think for himself, he would only follow under his older brother. But once his brother was murdered by Red Hot Chili Pepper, things changed. Akiyasu took reconciliation within hanging out with Josuke. This started out as simply walking to school with him. Josuke played a major role in being a very great positive influence on Akiyasu and enabled him to turn his life around. Now imagine all of what I just said without Josuke in the picture. Yeah, this would have certainly been a grim situation. Akiyasu, with no one to turn to, would have fallen into a bitter and dark path. He may seek ruthless revenge against Red Hot Chili Pepper, and if he really wanted to go after him, he probably would have died in vain. Overall, to wrap up my thoughts, as of finishing up this recording, I've come to truly appreciate Part 4 and Josuke even more. Josuke is a character that truly positively influences those around him. Well, maybe not Rohan, but you get my point. Sure, without Josuke in the picture, some lives would have been saved, but it's not like he ever had such intention of having his friends Sagechi or, well, his grandfather killed. At the end of the day, I think it was obviously the best choice that Josuke was born, you know considering Kira, but hey, you know what they say, life's best things often come from mistakes. Oh shit, not mistakes. <laughs> I meant accidents. Well, I want to simply thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. 100, 100% appreciate it, and just have a wonderful holiday season. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, and that's 100% fine in my book, but yeah, just have, just be safe, all that jazz, and have a great time, and if you enjoyed the video, slap a, slap a like, is that even a thing? Hit the like button, subscribe if you enjoyed it. If you hated it, yo, you can tell me off in the comments, I do not mind. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching once again, and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season.